Hello, and welcome to our lesson on precision DAX. In this video, we will discuss MDAC overshoot and what you can do to avoid it. The great benefit of using unbuffered DACs is that, since they don't have an integrated amplifier, the choice is left to the designer to pick an amplifier that is suitable for the application. The most common choices are an amplifier with higher current drive, larger supply range, or larger bandwidth than that which you'd find integrated in a DAC. Since a discrete amplifier is in use, special attention needs to be given to designing with the pin capacitance in mind, because it can make the amplifier unstable. The results of this instability can be seen here. The MDAC far overshoots its desired voltage and causes a significantly longer settling time. Let's look at a top-level illustration of what is going on. In order to explain this better, we need to take a look at the DAC architecture. Both the blue and red switches have parasitic capacitance, as well as the external traces that connect the MDAC to the amplifier. This parasitic capacitance will reduce the phase margin of the system, driving it closer to oscillation. The closer to oscillation the system gets, the larger the overshoot will be. What solution can we implement to fix this? With the standard MDAC circuit as shown, there is quite a bit of ringing. However, by adding a small compensation capacitor between the I-out and RFB pins, the problem begins to go away. By increasing the size of the capacitor, the ringing further attenuates. Keep in mind that a larger capacitor will also reduce the bandwidth of the system, negatively affecting the settling time. The trade-off between overshoot and settling time is up to the designer to explore. Thank you for watching this video on negating MDAC overshoot when designing with precision DACs. Please watch our other videos on precision DACs or go to ti.com slash precision DAC to learn more.